Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. So today I'm going to show you a bunch of updates and new lines that have been built. So I'm at Lei Moon Station right now. If you remember from the last episode, we completed the exit and built more station facilities, I guess, such as these escalators right here, which go up to the exit. And we had a light rail stop that we were gonna develop. So let me show you what we have here now. We have these exits and we have a light rail system up and running. This is called the Chinka Village Fast, Free and Frequent Light Rail. So it goes through the villages as we talked about last time, but a little uh, kind of deviated from the plan a little bit. So if we take a look at the system map, this is Leiyu Moon Station. If I take a look at the light rail, you can see that it branches off these stations uh, at 2 Ka Chun, and it goes off to 3 Ka Chun and 4 Ka Chun, and then it merges back together at 5 Ka Chun. So what I decided to do is, because it's kind of an awkward shape to go like this one, this one, this one, back down, and then up to 5, and then to Toy Toy, I decided to split the line here so the northbound trains will go via 3 Ka Chun and the southbound trains would come down via 4 Ka Chun. Okay, so let's go back to Minecraft and see how that looks in game. Alright, perfect timing. This is a phase 4 light rail train. Let's get on. So we are at Lei Moon. That means we're going northbound. I'm gonna sit in the front so that we can see better. So this is basically a loopback track, so that there's only one platform at Leiyu Moon, but there's two directions here, so the trains, it's like a balloon loop. The trains go down that way, loop around to Leiyu Moon and come back this side. So this is one Ka Chun, there's a Taiga village there, and then the next station will be two Ka Chun which is where the track will split to the left to 3 Ka Chun and straight ahead to 4 Ka Chun. But since we're going northbound, we can only... See, I even put an announcement there. Passengers to 4 Ka Chun, please change trains at 5 Ka Chun. So if you remember the system map, this direction only goes to 3 Ka Chun. You see the split here? We're gonna go left. And so what that means is 3 Ka Chun only has one platform, because trains will only go in this direction. Again, I put the announcement, if we're going to 4 Ka Chun, then we need to change trains. Okay, this is like a... I don't know what this is called, a normal Minecraft village? Yeah, this is a dark tunnel here. And we're going up a steep slope. You see the other track merges in here too. So since Toy Toy is a work in progress station, we're gonna get off here right now. So I'm gonna show you a little bit what the light rail stops look like. So there's a... For most of these stations, there are exits on both sides, both ends of the platform. You come down here, there's a sign saying if you want to go to the other platform, that way. And there's a bright yellow crossing to remind you, whoa, to be careful of oncoming trains like that. <laughs> and I try to make it so that the paths kind of connect to the theme of the village. So if the village uses these dirt path blocks, I try to use those as well to line it up with this part. So this is the village. And then this way goes back to Leiyu Moon. So it goes back to 4, and then it skips over 3 because remember 3 is only the other direction. Okay, so there's another announcement here. To 3 Ka Chun, please change trains. So, if we go this way, we can see we've split off to the left to 4 Ka Chun. There are some nice red trees here, similar to the biome of Red Leaf Station. 
Remember, what Red Leaves is one of the very early stations from the Let's Play. Here is also another uh, oak village, I suppose. In this exit, there's only one right there. One exit right there. And then we're back to Tukachin. That's where the track split off earlier. I really like the look of this village. Let's go out and take a look. Quick detour. So these yellow poles are from the Jobin client mod. They are called the LRT intercar barrier and they look very realistic and they work really well in this situation. So really nice job adding these into the Jobin client mod. And this I think it's a Terralith village. Yeah, it doesn't look like a default Minecraft vanilla one. There's even a castle here. And it kind of looks like the one in Northern Sl S Snowland Hub Station. What's in here, I wonder? Is it locked? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's lag. Oh, that was lag. Cool. I didn't know they finally added bundles into the game. I thought they kept delaying it. Okay, there's a crossbow feather traveler's map to the Lavender Valley. Interesting. This looks like a shooting range with some targets. Yeah, so many arrows, bows, stuff like that. Really nice. I think that lag there when I was opening the chest was because it needed to generate the loot table. That's why it took a little bit. And I just saw some half trees on the side here, so I'm gonna chop them down. So one click should make the whole tree come down. I talked about this tree chopping mod in another video. Oh, we just missed the train. But good thing this is the fast, free, and frequent, freq wait, what was it? Frequent, fast, and free, free, fast, and frequent, something. <laughs> okay. Wow, we got a phase four again. So I'm using a, using a random mix of uh, phase four, two car light rail, phase one, two car light rail, and phase one, one car light rail. So I have three sidings side by side in my depot, so it's it's kind of sending out random trains. Okay, this is back at one cartoon station. What is this? Yeah, this is the spruce village we saw earlier. And then we're now entering the balloon loop, which is back at Leiyu Moon Station. There we go. And we're back. So for these light rail stops, I only made the ceiling go out to about half the platform. So like that. So if you happen to get off the train here and it's raining, you're gonna get all wet. So just don't do that. <laughs> you should get on this car. Oh, also there's been some problems with the Discord bot where messages people send on Discord are blank. I don't know why. So I need to manually open Discord to see what people are saying. Anyway, let's go back down to the spawn line. And go in here. As you can see from the map, I've created two more stations after this, after Maki Memorial. And it's called Void Park and Motapu, respectively. Okay, so this is Maki Memorial. We're on the train right now, heading there. So if we go up, this is Void Park. So the spawn line bypasses the station, goes straight up to Void Park, and then interchanges at Motapu. This is one of other Kettle's other stations as well. So I've asked Kettle for permission also to interchange at Motapu. I decided to build an in-between station because it would be kind of far to go straight from Maki Memorial straight up to Motapu. So I added a station right there. All right, 
We are approaching Void Park Station. We were at ground level, but we cut through this big mountain and now we're in here. This is a very beautiful lush cave. And this station is still work in progress, as indicated by the name. But I really can't resist building another station in a cave again. But this time it's a lush cave, it's not like a deep slate thing like Yanjiang Mineshaft Station. So if we... Oh. Sometimes when I'm trying to switch game mode, I accidentally press F2. And I don't mean to take a screenshot. So in my screenshots folder, I have like a bunch of random screenshots at weird angles just because I accidentally pressed it. But anyway, this is a very nice lush cave. Wow. I've never really explored one of these since the update came out. But it looks really beautiful. Then the water is like bluish green and there's these glow berries everywhere. Yeah, glow berries. And it's so spacious. So I decided the parts where you can see out, I'm going to use glass so that you can kind of see what's going on, but still be on the platform. So this part, I just converted it to polish andesite where you can't see through. I've tried to make some pillars along the wall so it doesn't look as plain. Let's take a look at the other side. Yeah, the other side also has like a solid section with polished andesite and these dark oak walls. And then the rest of it where you can see through is gonna be white stained glass. By the way, a lot of you have been asking me in the comments, how can I join the Let's Play? Is it for Mobile Edition? Is it for Bedrock Edition? The answer is... Sorry, it's for Java version only, so you can only play it on the Java version of Minecraft which supports computers, not phones and other things like that. No Xbox, no Android, no iPhone. But if you want to join, please come on in to the Discord server. We would love to get to know you better. And the links to the server, like the server IP and the system map and square map are also available in the Discord server. So right when you join, there's going to be a rules and FAQ channel. Make sure to read that carefully and the IP is going to be right there. So it's free for all to join as adventure mode. And once we get to know you better, you can fill out the builder's application form and become a builder. So the next station is Motapu. This is uh, Kettle's station. So I've started building here. I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> I just kind of thought of like building two tubes because this line ultimately is going to be the spawn grand circular. So I thought it would be appropriate to build a green circle, make the platforms out of a green circle. So this is kind of a silly design, but I went with it and it looks kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> this is another lush cave. So many lush caves all in a row. And it even looks pretty cool from the outside too. Look at this. <laughs> and it just comes out the other side here. I made this like floating wooden bridge thing just so that it's not just some straight stone cutting across. But yeah, we cut through the mountain here, come out to the lush cave, and it's kind of like a space station kind of theme where you have like a glass tube, two glass tubes next to each other. It kind of reminds me of Mario games a little bit. The green pipes. And then <laughs> there's only space for one escalator. The width of the platform can only fit one escalator. So I had to go like one up and one down like this. So this side terminates here for now. And this side goes back to green. So all the way back up. And then here I build a little exit that comes out here. There's no street, ex I guess, ground level exit for now. Unless you just walk out of the cave here and to the water, I guess. But that doesn't really count as a ground exit. So maybe eventually I'll see what Kettle wants to do, where Kettle is going to put his new lines. Um, if we're going to build some ground level exits up here. Motapu is a little island in New Zealand in the middle of the lake. I'm not sure what the name of the lake is called, but I searched it up earlier. 
and it's a little island. I think that's why Kello named this island Motapu. Okay, so let's take a look at the system map one more time. If I click on the spawn grand circular, I renamed it to the circular line because it's almost going to be a circle. You can see that originally it went from spawn down to red leaves, Isert Estate, Yanjiang Mineshaft. And then now it extends all the way back up to the right and up. And you can guess my goal is to connect these two ends together to make a big circular line. Okay, we're so close. We're at Motapu right now. Let's see where we can keep going. So one proposal I thought about was to go up to here, Jingyang Station, which is Aida Station. But Aida hasn't been online for a long time. Remember that bridge with my name on it? Aida built that. But I don't think Aida has been online since then. Maybe just busy with school or something. So one option is to interchange here, but I need to get their permission first. Another option is to come here. This is a really cool like mystical forest kind of island. So another option is to make a turn that goes here and then goes up to these floating islands. These orange things are floating islands and connect to green. So I think for simplicity, I will just go down to this mystical area for now. And I think that would make a cooler station as well. So if I come to this mystical forest, I have to go kind of around the water a little bit. Like a half circle almost. And maybe when Ida comes online, I can maybe make a shuttle from this mystical island to Jingyang Station. Okay, and then from there, I can start sloping up so that I won't have as steep as a slope from green down to spawn. Oh, actually, I don't think I've shown you all what green station looks like or what that connection looks like. So I'm going to go to spawn real quick and show you what that looks like. Okay, perfect timing. There's a train right here. This train will go to green, so I'm going to stand at the front so that you can see what's going on. So first we go down, 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 down because the Snowlin Express is up there and we don't want to cut into their tracks. And we go to this tunnel. We really need to remind people to hold the handrail. <laughs> That's why it announces it multiple times. And there we are. This is Green Station. <laughs> I really like the way Kettle made this. So it's outdoors, but there are barrier blocks on top so that you can't actually fly out. But it looks like it's open air. So if I come out here, oh, I got fined $500 because I didn't enter. So come here. This is another one of those floating islands generated by the Terralith mod. Yeah, so it looks like a normal station from the outside. But when you see that it's so high above the ground, you kind of get scared. <laughs> and this is the boat to Cyan Heights. Let's take the boat actually. It seems a bit more fun. Oh, also the boat, the other side goes to Kettle Hole. Oh. <laughs> Novi Vodka, it's back! I got him the bucket, okay. Wait, where's the boat? Oh, there it is. Actually, I want to check out Kettle Hole. I wonder what that looks like. And there it is. This looks like a jungle boat or something. This is route U to Kettle Hole. This is route U to Kettle cool. Hole. I wonder which way we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go out this way. This feels like a cable car a little bit because you can't see the tracks and it's like floating in the air. But there are no cables either. So it's just flying. <laughs> oh, we're going this way? Whoa, did not expect that. But that's pretty cool. 
Wow, <laughs> feels like a helicopter because of the speed it's going and because we're like floating in midair. Actually, I'm gonna go back because I'm not supposed to show you this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back until Kettle lets me show this. When Kettle lets me, I'm gonna tell you why I decided to turn back without visiting here. So I think I'm gonna blur out this portion of the video as well. <laughs> it's not anything bad, it's just gonna be a surprise. Anyway, we're back to Green Station. This is, uh, whoa. I think I clipped through the glass fence a little bit. But we're in the clouds, literally. That's why there's this big shadow moving. This is actually just a cloud. You can see the spawn line coming to the side. I've never actually taken this flying boat, so this is my first time. And then we should be going to Cyan Heights. Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be really scary if it's real life. Roller coasters are already bad enough for me. They're fun, but they're really scary. Like the feeling of falling. So I can't imagine what that would be like if that was it. That boat was in real life. So we're going at a healthy speed of 120. But it still doesn't feel too fast. I guess I'm kind of spoiled by 300 tracks all the time. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, 120 is pretty fast in real life for a boat already. So I can't complain. Looks like we're also following the rivers. These are the spawn line tunnels or bridges. Whoa, almost hit my head there. <laughs> good thing those are slabs. So even if I did hit my head, I won't suffocate. Minecraft logic right there. So I think we're close to spawn. This is uh, the west coast line, I think. The really steep bridge for the west coast line. And then we're back at the um, dark oak. What is this bridge? Is that the sightseeing line? Oh no, that's the new line. I keep forgetting the name of the new line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. M, 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 M. All right. So this one to Kettle Hole. Oh, this boat changes to Route D, right? I'm not sure. It didn't say in the announcements that the boat was going to change routes. But cool. Yeah. Make sure to exit. Oh, wait. I didn't enter. So that counted as entering the station. Oh, that's creative. Kira is the one that built um, this platform. So Kira was being really creative to use these uh, light rail intercar barriers as like a fence to this. Wow, very creative. And I think you can't jump over these, right? Yeah, nice, nice. It's kind of like fences where the hitbox is one and a half blocks tall. Like the collision blocks box is one and a half blocks tall, but the hitbox, the wireframe, is only one block. Really nice touch. And I saw that Kira locked the lift doors. Nice. So yeah, we've got the cable car at Sign Heights. We've got the sightseeing line. We've got the boat. And this, I feel like platform 3 is going to be work in progress for this part. So we've checked out the other end of the spawn circular. Now let's go back to Motapu Station. Motapu is where I wanted to go to the mystical forest. Let's take a look at this again. Yeah, the forest is here. Oraki is here. So maybe I won't interchange with Kettle here. Because I feel like Kettle will build a line connecting here anyway. I don't remember his proposal, but I think there will be a line going this way. So Motapu, I'm gonna go directly west to this forest right here. Okay, so I'm back at Motapu station. 
and according to the square map the enchanted island is straight west so i'm gonna go there and see if that looks right this way i think yeah there it is wow look at that the leaves are like teal green and the water is purple i want to live here Wow, is this an ocean monument right outside? Cool. But there is no guardian. Because it's on peaceful mode. I wonder why it's so foggy underwater. So it's gonna be straight west. Let me see how I can connect it. And make that turn. So either it's gonna be a really sharp turn, or I have to make like a U-shape. Maybe we can get by with making a sharp turn but we'll see right here is good so that we have a little bit of clearance of the station so that the trains won't clip it as it turns the corner at most about here i think i think this one should slope up a little bit you know what would be really cool if i made a suspension bridge right across the water but nothing beats ida's bridge with my name on it Remember that from, the, from one of the previous episodes? I like using stone slabs for the bridge creator because it's, it gives more detail than full blocks. Hmm, the bridge ended up a little bit off the island, but I think that's okay. Because, oh, you know what? A cable car would be really cool to go up to the top. Like a tourist attraction or something. So I'm going to build a station, the station as an island station. Because I've been doing a lot of stations where the platforms are on opposite sides and the tracks go down the middle, like opposite of an island platform. I forgot what that's called. So the edge of the track can be touching here. The track is about this wide. And my platform will be like that. So I'm just going to prototype it real quick. Okay, so that'll be four blocks. Oh, it's one block too high. Okay, so I've just created a stone platform for now. I'm going to decorate it later, of course, but I'm going to leave this for now and continue with the bridge. So ultimately, the goal for today is to connect the spawn circular together. So let me make the station area on the dashboard real quick before I forget. I'm going to go back to square map real quick and take a look at how the path will go. So we need to go a little bit northwest and then across to the left. So it looks like those two islands are in a row. So I can probably build a straight track. And then we have to turn up again to that third island and then to green. All right, let's get to it. So for simplicity, I'm just going to paste in the same stone platforms for the, the three islands. I know it's not going to be like unique stations, but we'll do that for now. And then we have to connect the tracks with green. I'm going to break the temporary turn back because we don't, we're not going to need that anymore. Oh, kettle is right here. Wow, look how steep the trains go. I'm going to double check my work just to make sure that everything is connected. And now it's time to make the depot. So since I want the trains to terminate at spawn, or like uh, have the route start and end at spawn, because that just makes sense for a spawn circular, I'm going to build the depot pretty close to spawn, and I think I know where I want to put it. Right under... Or right, right in between spawn and green, where the track dips underground a little bit, because there's more space down there. So I'm going to clear out an empty room, and make like stone walls and stone floors, just to make it look good. Okay, there we go. And then now I want to find the center point. There's this handy world edit command that I did not know about for the longest time. It's called center. It finds the center point for you and puts a block there of your choice. 
So I'm going to do center one and that would put stone blocks in the middle. Since, since it's an even number of blocks long, I guess I just put two stone blocks there instead. Okay, the point of that was so that I can center my siding in the middle of the room. So I've put both sidings for both the clockwise and the anti-clockwise side, and I think that looks pretty good. Oh, well we gotta connect the sidings to the main track first. Now it's time to set everything up in the dashboard. I'm so excited, I've been waiting for this moment. Okay, so first I'm gonna set these sidings to use the MLR trains. Um, it's not gonna be unlimited, but I'll just do that for now, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change that. I mean, I'll need to measure out how many trains can go into the line because I don't want the siding to force in too many trains or else it's gonna jam up over time. Okay, next I'm gonna make the lines instead of northbound and southbound, I'm gonna make it clockwise and anti-clockwise. So let me select the stations. Okay, that is looking great. And I'm gonna move the depot over, but I have to revise the path because it's only going to run one of them, not both clockwise and anti-clockwise. That wouldn't make sense. All right, path is successful. Let's make the other siding as well, or I mean the other depot, with the anti-clockwise. And since my route starts and ends at the same exact platform, the button to repeat instructions forever will show up. So I'm going to tick that box. Wow, doesn't that look satisfying? It's a it's an actual loop now. I added up all the seconds, so the amount of time that the train needs to go one whole loop. So that is 638 seconds. And if my trains come out at 40 seconds each, 638 divided by 40 is about 16 trains. So I'm going to try putting in 16 trains to the sidings and hope that the trains won't jam. Okay, so it's been a few days since I last played and I've made some progress on these stations on the spawn Grand Circular. So Nemo is online right now and this is Enchanted Forest Station. I've built the general structure or Enchanted Parkway, I mean. So I've built the general structure of how the station's gonna look. As you can see, it's a bit unrealistic with these four little pumpkin pillars supporting the whole station. It's a jack-o'-lantern actually. That's how the station looks. I decided to go with an interesting architecture, sort of like a west rail line station, but with the sharp corner like that. <laughs> and then kind of like wavy curves for each of the individual roof sections. I talked about building a cable car from here up to the top, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Probably will come a bit later. And I use a lot of, uh, what's this, netherite blocks as well. This is a really expensive station. Enchanted Parkway. Okay, let's go in. So I've updated the sidings for the spawn circular a little bit as well. Um, let me show you. For the clockwise, I've added a few more trains to 19. And then for the anti-clockwise, I've added it to 18. So I found out that it doesn't jam, even if I up the numbers a little bit. And so I let the server run, run for a little bit, and then the trains started spacing out themselves. Oh, I should get on this train. So because the server has been running for a while, all the delays that are caused by deploying the trains too quickly have resolved themselves because they've spaced themselves out naturally. So that's the good thing about set limit of how many trains the siding will spawn is that you can specify how many trains will be on your circle which will loop around forever and the, the jams will just resolve themselves. So I've arrived at Tun Chao Station so after Enchanted Parkway is 
the three floating islands and then green. I guess green is a floating island as well. So four floating islands in a row. So before it was work in progress, it was just like a stone platform, but now I've added in some decorations with like cactus and glowstone in the middle. This is a pretty simple station. There's not even a roof, but that's not really necessary because the whole island is above it. So I'm gonna go up real quick. So there's two exits, east and west. And <laughs> Nemo is here with me. And then I'm gonna go up to the top. And this is the exit. Really simple, nothing special. Just with the station sign and escalators. I wonder what Nemo is working on. Nemo hasn't been online in a while. Probably school is getting busy. I'm gonna wait for the next train and show you the next couple of stations. I probably won't get off at each of them because they're pretty similar to each other to this station as well because I just copied the design because I was lazy. <laughs> when is the next train? Oh, I guess we've hit the gap. So theoretically, we could probably fit one more train in this anti-clockwise loop. Because after that train left, the next train is a whole minute and a half or two minutes away. Meaning that we could probably have squeezed in one more train for the anti-clockwise. You know what? Let's do it. So anti- whoop. So the anti-clockwise, I'm going to add one more train to 19. And then the clockwise, uh, should I add it to 20? I'm not sure. I'm a bit scared to do that. Maybe not. Okay. All right, I'm on the train. Wow, it's a beautiful sunset right now. I'm going to sit in the front. I've made these glass bridges so that it looks like I'm floating on the clouds. Sort of like a Mario Kart feel. In case you're wondering why I named these stations like that, it's because it's named after the the island called Changchao in Hong Kong. Oh, let me show you this real quick. This is Chongchao. It looks pretty much the same, just a different color. So in Chinese, Changchao is Changzhao, and the Chang means long, and Dunzhao, Tunchao, the station that we were at earlier, Dun means short. So Chang is long, Zhong is medium, and Dun is short. So that's why I kind of named the three stations like that. Okay, this is Changchao Station, and it uh, looks the same. Surprise! Okay, I'm gonna stay on the train. So this is the section connecting back to green. I guess I'll just ride it all the way to spawn and then I can take a look at what Nemo is doing. I really like Kettle's design in general. Kettle named the platforms in Spanish. I don't know why, but it's pretty creative. Alright, the steep slope. Remember to hold the handrails. It feels like a roller coaster, except that the acceleration is a bit too slow for if you actually slide down a slope that steep. Okay, this is the depot area. There are no trains on the sidings because they've all been deployed. And we're heading back to spawn. Okay. Spawn really needs a makeover. Like I need some builders who are willing to take on this project and <laughs> I guess just work on it. No, Nemo has left the game. I was just about to see what Nemo was doing. Okay. All right, so this officially marks the completion of the uh, spawn Grand Circular. Let's take a look at the system map one last time and see what we've got. So these stations are no longer marked with WIP, work in progress. And to close out the episode, 
Let's see what line I can visit. So tea powder has made two stations or two main hubs, Eden and Callus. And I think last time I took the Callus Express from Yanjiang Mine Shaft to Eden and Callus, and I kind of took a look at the light rail and I went back. So this time, I'm gonna stop at Eden, or I'm gonna go there directly because it looks like there are more light rail lines that I haven't visited. This is the 101 and 102 Callus LRT. In one of my previous videos, I referred to T with the wrong pronoun. Sorry about that. So T prefers she, her pronouns. Uh, okay, that's back to the Callus Express. And this is the Light Rail 801 line. So I wonder where the other one is. Or is this the only Light Rail connecting to Callus? I think it is actually. Yeah, so there's the Light Rail and there is the Snowy Line. So let's take a look at that, because I don't think I've seen it. Oh, it's another platform that looks pretty similar to the Callus Express platforms. Cool. Oh, there's a terminating train coming, but I have to wait. Oh, this one's coming as well to Southorn. I just know that this is named after a big play field in Hong Kong. It's in Wan Chai. The first time I took the R train was actually this summer when I went back to Hong Kong. I forgot if I told you all that yet. <laughs> so the, these trains are still they still feel pretty new to me. Although I feel like a lot of <laughs> a lot of people might have already been on them. The next station is Ikawa. Oh, I think I visited this station when Stronger was building it. Is this line Stronger's, not T's line? Maybe I got that confused. Okay, so this station was built after Shamshui Po, apparently. That's what uh, Stronger told me. And the station layout feels very urban line style. So I can see why it was designed after Shamshui Po. The color is pretty close as well. The next station is Igong. Nice. Wow, I like this big open area. Let's take a look. Yep, feels very MTR style as well. I really like the design of the stairs and the escalators together. I should start doing that more often. Usually I get lazy and just put two escalators side by side and not put a stairway in the middle. But I know in real life there's usually a stairway in the middle. More passenger capacity. And also in case of the escalator breaks, then it wouldn't be the end of the world. <laughs> Because a lot of my stations are escalators only. What is the next station? Shirakawa. Cool. Wow, this feels like Austin Station. Because of the color scheme. The brown and the white on top. Nice. I really like how you had the open station design where the middle you can see up to the next level. The next station is Yankton. I know that is a big interchange with Isaac's lines. So I think Isaac and Stronger are working on different Snowland Express or Snowland projects together. Yeah, interchange for the Lakeside Mystic, the Wanton line and the Snowtro line. These are all new to me. I've seen them on the system map for quite a while, but I've never actually visited them. So I think in the upcoming episodes, I can totally like feature them and take a ride. 
So I think I'm gonna check out Yankton Station. I'm gonna actually get off the train. Nice. It reminds me a bit of... Uh... Actually, I don't know what this reminds me of. A little bit like Choi Hong with middle platforms and that how you can see across to the other side. But this also feels like a KCR station because of the way the walls are. And this ceiling design reminds me of Admiralty, like the, the new Israel line platforms. So I don't know. I really like this design though. Let's see what's down here. Down here, that's the dark blue line. I don't know, I forgot what the line name was. And then we have the Lakeside Mystic and the Snow Troll line. Snow Troll line. Apparently this top part is closed. Yeah, okay. They're still doing the concourse. But looks like the platforms are pretty close to completion. Oh, okay. I see. So I was supposed to come down here and to cross over, I have to come down here to the Snow Troll line. Oh, there's more stuff down there. Really cool. Okay, Snow Troll line up here. This really gives makes me motivated to renovate Spawn Station as soon as possible. Because this looks much better than what I built at Spawn. <laughs> I definitely can use some help on that. Okay, and then... There's one more level down here. So this is like a big intermediate interchange with platforms on either side. That's really cool. Or really nice design. Oh, this I can fall off the stairs like that. Okay, this is the Express to Lake City. So that one goes all the way to the left of the system map. And I don't... Oh, there's also more platforms on that side. But I think they are not in use at the moment. That's why I think they were fenced off. Or, no, they're not fenced off, but they're just empty. Okay, for future use. This reminds me of... Yeah, I know what this reminds me of. It's like, uh... Yunlong Station, Tin Shui Wai, Siu Hong, Tun Moon, where they have the crisscross escalators with the little open area like that. <laughs> I like this little hole so you can see. Yeah, these holes in a row so that you can see down. Nice, nice. I'm gonna fly up to the top. Wow, what is this biome? How come I can't? Oh. Ice Marsh. Ice Marsh. <laughs> this is a very interesting biome. Okay, so I'm gonna end the episode here at Yankton Station. This is the big hub on the Let's Play map. So hopefully next time people will be online so that they can show me around and we can take more new lines. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Let's Play series. The next episode will actually be a finale of the season, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna also reveal what the name of the first season will be, and what I plan to do in the next season as well. So don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified when I post the next Let's Play as well. And also 3.1 is gonna be releasing soon, 3.1 of the mod. So if you haven't seen the preview video about the new features, make sure to go check that out. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!